Okay, so on number 13, they gave us a graph of a parabola in standard form or a function in standard form, and they want us to find which graph that would be. So, um, of course, if you tutored with me before, hopefully you remember that formula for finding the vertex of a parabola from standard form. Um, and so if you do, then it would just be negative 4 over 2 times negative 1, which would be positive 2. So then we know that our vertex would be at 2. So that eliminates A, that eliminates C, that eliminates B. And in fact, it must be D because the X value of the vertex is 2. So um, if we needed to, we could have plugged 2 back in to find the Y value of the vertex, but it, it ended up that we didn't need it. Um, another way you could have done this problem is to kind of just plug in coordinates because um, we know if both sides equal each other, it, it must be right. So for instance, um, Hopefully you see that, okay, if I plug in zero for X, Y would be zero. So the graph needs to go through zero, zero, um, which if I uncross everything out, A does not go through zero, zero, B does not go through zero, zero, um, C does and D does. So then I would just pick another coordinate, maybe like um, two, four from this one and see if it works. Um, and that would be four equals negative four, plus eight and that checks out so that's true so then d would be the answer so that's another way you could kind of finagle your way uh to 